Com. Today we are talking about one of the most powerful women in the world, Beyonce. Mm -hmm. And to join us, we have the incredible Kaylin Allen. Oh, yes, darling, guy, come. I like that. I felt very Beyonce right then. You, you know, were. you know how you she did the sixteen fans in front of you. Oh, ooh, you know, I've cool. always wanted that. You know how she just stand there. You know how powerful do you have to be to just stand there and people just go crazy? Now, there's people who are fans of Beyonce, mm -hmm. and there are people who are part of the Beehive. Yes. What it, what is kind of that difference? There is a big difference. So, the Beehive is a lot more knowledgeable. So think of the Beehive as the encyclopedia, right? Beyonce fans are more of a dictionary, you know? Like, you can only get a little bit of information from them. They don't know birthdays. They don't know cousins. They don't know the people that work for them, you know? The Beehive knows Beyonce's whole entire team. We know that uh, her publicist is Yvette, and Yvette has been there since the beginning. Like, we know every detail. Y'all like the CIA of Beyonce. Honestly, <laughs> we can answer any question. Has it impacted your lifestyle or things you've had to give up? Have you lost relationships over this? Absolutely. <gasps> that In dating, that's one of the first questions I have to ask. <laughs> there have been many times that I have, like, went on a date, and somebody has been like, I don't really like Beyonce or I think she's overrated. I was like, well, baby, this isn't going to go any further. You know, got to go. If uh, Beyonce was a recipe. Well, first you're giving legs. Oh. Hair. Oh. Yes, the hair is the, remember when she cut her hair and how bad, mad we were? Oh, we were Oh, mad. we were mad. <laughs> we were better. I said, girl, I paid to come see that hair blowing through in the wind. You better put it back on. Um, let me think. Um, fierce. Mm. All the single ladies. Diva. Mm. All the single ladies. Mogul. All the single ladies. Strong. Put your hands up. Oh, 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 when I think about my career, I try to kind of mold it kind of after Beyonce's, as in with the aspect of every time I do something, I want to level up, you know? Right. I want to do it better than I did it before. You know, I'm always thinking about the future. How can I be better than what I've already shown you? You know, because I think that's what she does. She always elevates. No Beyonce is the same Beyonce. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We are talking about the late Carrie Fisher. Um, Carrie Fisher is mostly known for Star Wars, which I am a huge diehard fan of. Well, beyond her work in outer space, you know, she was also a mental health advocate, an AIDS activist, and an incredible author. She even wrote a book called Delusions of Grandma about her friend Julian. He died of AIDS, unfortunately, but she let him stay with her and she took care of him for the last two months of his life. In 1995, she did an interview with Diane Sawyer where she really spoke up about her mental health issues. And she also admitted to using cocaine to dealing with her issues. Now, at the time, this wasn't really common. I know today a lot of celebrities come forward about their struggles, but back then this was a really big deal and it really created a space for people to have an open communication about mental health. Carrie Fisher, we love you. You're a fierce bitch. We love you in Star Wars. We love your books. We love what you did for the gay community. And we love your voice. Rest in peace, ma'am. I see him. Hey there, it's Miss Laganja. And John Mark. And today we're talking about one of the greatest comebacks of all time. It's Britney, bitch. Yes, yes ma'am. Now there's a lot of fun facts I love about this pop diva, that she worked as a cashier at her grandma's crawfish restaurant. Or that Baby One More Time was originally written for TLC. Uh, you're kidding. Well, here to discuss with us is the hilarious Zainab Johnson. Yes. Wow. 
The hair is hot. <laughs> You're here to celebrate the one, the only Miss B Spears. Yes, bitches. <laughs> I think everybody likes a comeback story. I think, you know, there's certain things about Britney that's nostalgia. And then she fell and she fell really hard. And so now it's like, okay, we wanna see her get back up so she can fall again. Mm. You gotta respect the team too. Yes. Well, I think her dancers. With her is like a testament to the team, the visuals, the costumes, yes. the dancers. The level of production, it's like a drag queen. Yeah. I mean, she has a costume change every number. Yeah. There's pyrotechnics, hieroglyphics. Yeah. I mean, girl, she does it all. <laughs> a good friend calls you in jail, a great friend bails you out of jail. Your best friend sits next to you and says, Wasn't that fun? Mm -hmm. With minions. Mm -hmm. That's definitely coming from someone that's been to jail multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> I don't know how you get a call in jail, though. Oh, I do. A good friend calls you in jail? Mm. Have you been arrested? Lagonda? You can get calls I have been in arrested. jail. Oh, at the airport. Well, that was one time. Yeah, that was one arrest time. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you identify with this on a deeper level. Well, when you have a track record, you, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> Why be moody when you can shake your booty? I love it too. I think we all relate to that. This That's is a good one. Very accessible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think it's a call to action too. I, yeah. Yeah, you in a mood, bitch? Shake that ass. Right. Like Get out that mood real quick. And I like the subtle, you know, cactus background. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that really mm, add like, some texture? Yeah, it's like <laughs> cactus and watercolors. Mm. Like, ooh, aggressive, <laughs> but also very, very soft. Yeah. <laughs> and she's, she never stopped dancing. She didn't. Has she been singing this whole time? We'll never know. What we no. know is she never stopped dancing. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Even if she had to put on the wedge to do it. Mm. Cool. I think this one has been the most authentic to Britney so far. Mm. You know, like this. Well, she like, did write six words about it, so that's she not did. even six. One, but, two, I mean, three, look, four, five. Is, this, yeah, and her caption matches. I just stepped on a cornflake. Now I am officially a serial killer. Mm, serial, C-E-R-E-A-L. Mm. Here's mm. what I've noticed. These, these look cute at yeah. a glance, but so far we've been talking about killing someone if you can't shop, Yeah. Uh, being a serial killer, being in jail. Mm -hmm. So I think if you, go, if you look deeper, there's some demons. Yeah. They're coming out. Yeah. Oh, they've been coming out. Yeah, they've been coming out. Leave Brittany alone!